we're back in the building. I know the model that we're here for a reason, not just the season. I know what it is, man. Today we got a special, special, special guest on the show. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. Saying, before we get into the special guest, I'm going to go to my left first. You know what I mean? You know what it is, your boy White, man. May you never follow me, may that president. You know what it is, you're here for a reason, not just a season. Oh. You tuned into the, the pre recorded live show. It's not just a regular podcast. You're here to have grown man conversations, man. You know, the slick here, slick chat on Instagram. Y'all know me, I'm the relationship love guy. Holla at your boy to follow me. I'm gonna tell you some shit that you need to know. Exactly. You know what it is, we got the special guest about to come on the show right now. I want y'all to all give it up for my guy, Mr. Commodore, one of the funniest people I see on my fucking Instagram. <laughs> y'all better pay, pay attention. I don't know if you're gonna walk in here with that motherfucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah, definitely, definitely. 
That's what that's what I'm saying. That that was another whole thing for me because I actually didn't know. I'm, I'm looking at it just to laugh. That's yeah, right. Wait, so there's the girls. Oh my God, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. So I was like, oh my God, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate all that thing. Yeah, you know I got a suit on. You hate that you said you spoke to, uh, you speaking to the fact that you come up with a message within the comedy, which I think is a whole different dynamic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, how long do it take you to come up with these skits? How thoughtful are you? You know what I'm saying? We're coming up with these skits. Like, what's going through your brain when you talk to us when you come up with these, these comedy skits? Most of the time, creating is like experiences. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it looks like I could freestyle improv, and when I'm interested in that, it's written. It could be a whole day, because I might be have to. I might write something where I have to do like eight locations. Mm. I might have to be one place and then pop up here, pop up here, and be outside, be at this crib, be at this beach, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I might take more days, depending on what you write. Sometimes, you know, you, you, take a moment. You, try to, <laughs> yeah. you try to shoot a movie, a mini movie in a minute, it might take all day. So what, what, what separates you from all these other Instagram dudes and doing shows and stuff? Like what separates you from all that? I miss the Commodore. I love my fans and my audience speak for that because when you got an audience, you know what to feed them. Right. You got a dog, you got a cat, you know what to give them. Yeah. You got a network, you know what they want to see. Right. You know what channel they're going to. Yeah. You don't got an audience, you don't got a fan base, you just put them out anything. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm feeding my audience. Feeding audience. Yeah. You know what they like. Because yeah, I know we be fucking. I know they like you've been around for years. Cause I've been around for years, so I'm consistent. So I'm giving you, giving you, giving you good food. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But I mean, like, 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 like White said. Now that you really, you just made me start thinking about all your skits. Oh, now, now, like, yeah. man, like now, I'm trying to yeah, watch it, yeah, go, go back and go back to so I can yeah. get the message. Cause a lot of times, shit be so motherfucking yeah, funny. Yeah, the yeah, message. The funeral joint. The funeral joint is petty, but it's a mess. The funeral. He want to throw it. He want to go to the funeral. Because he owed the money and all that. Or he missed his birthday. Oh, <laughs> shit. Sure. Nah. He ain't going to go to his man's funeral because he missed his birthday. His birthday was lit. So he thinks his man died on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to the funeral. That's petty. No, he does shit. He does shit. He does Fresh out. 
You gonna kill me in the first episode? Fuck you. No, don't kill me. I wasn't sitting around to the end. Yeah, I, I you ain't got a baby for the first one. I think it was you hit me on the end. Yeah. Yeah. You all trying to die on power, you know? Not me, David. I want to wanna stick around. I want to be there yeah. to the end. Just one, one word. One, one, one line. One you know what I'm saying? Well, don't kill me. I. No <laughs> <laughs> shoot. Um, for years, he, he enjoyed my um, content. He used to put it up on the page. He never linked. You know, yeah, yo, you know, uh, big homie used to hit me up. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yo, shot the yeah, yo. He used to be like, yo, yo, bro, talking about you, man. Bro, don't fuck with nobody. <laughs> no, bro, don't fuck with nobody. You know what I'm saying? He, he want to link up. And it was around um, Tycoon again. Mm -hmm. First Tycoon. So we linked up and everything. Um, I think I peeled off 15 in Jersey. We linked up and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo. Trying to take you off the ground, nigga. Like, you know, you, you're around some that little time, yeah. big name, you know what I'm saying? You hear that shit all the time, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's saying they're gonna, they gonna do something for you, they're gonna do something. It's like, nah, for real, you know? And then he said what he said. Next thing you know, uh, a week later, I'm trying on jail suits and shit. Yeah. I'm on mm -hmm. the Isaac Wright Jr., ABC for life. Mm -hmm. right. The call went through, mm -hmm. he set it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my little trailer box. Oh, so he expedited it. He said. He, 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 he stuck to his word. He said, yeah, he said well, my foot is in the door. I think he's going to foot out. I never heard no shit like that. He followed his word. So, you know what I'm yeah, saying? He took me out my trailer, put me, hit, put me in his trailer. I didn't really have that many lines. Well, he put me on the show. I had a motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had a character. I wasn't just an inmate extra. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, that's real. That's real. J Rose, that was my character's name. You know what I'm saying? Right, I see right, a little right. part of that. And I like that motherfucking show. Too. See you on the block, bitch. I said that was me. You said that was me. I see the part when I was getting fifty comments. That was me. Did you see that? Let me tell y'all one, 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 one time when we was on, we was on the set. Fifty the executive producer. So that part, I don't know what y'all see when I'm giving the commissary and shit. He's coming out the cell to talk to Jamal before he fight in the yard. He's like, yo, say, yo, don't think you got enough commissary. I say it like three times. They're like, cut! Fucking cut! Cut! Who's talking? He look at me like, action! I don't think you got enough commissary. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> this nigga told me to. They never put it in there, but he was telling me. He's the exact thing he's telling me. This. I'm giving trouble. They're like, you have no lie. I said, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, so what was he trying to do with that? He was trying, he was just trying to make sure I get more. He was trying to help me out. He was trying to give me some more speakers. He was trying to throw my joint up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't gonna throw it up at that. I was like, alright, fuck it. That's how you get your limits, your seconds. Man, you know, like, speaking and talking, that's how you get your seconds. All that shit add up more money. The next time you're gonna do some more shit, all that shit add up. Wait, it was good luck, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? He's a good dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He'll talk to the deaf and be on the phone, but it's, it's good. It's yeah. good, you know what I'm saying? Drop jewels. He'll keep on the phone for hours and let you say nothing. Yeah. Yo, tell me, man, you got it. Man, you don't even know what you got to do, you know? Like, oh, yeah. work? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Good energy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. That's real. Right. That's a fact. That's the dude, man. Big money moves, man. man. Cool. Cool. Always answer his phone. He always was there, you know what I'm saying? I text him. He's like, yo, what's up? Well, I got you. Whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? That's real. Yeah. You don't get too many people yeah. like that. Yeah. That's yeah. real, man. Shout, shout out to Fish. Shout out right there. Shout out to Fish. Shout out to Fish. Shout out to Fish. Shout out to Fish. I want to transition a little bit, make a little pivot, you know what I'm saying? Talk about the business side. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're not going to ask you what you, what you make and things like that. But, you know, we want to we wanna know how successful, you know, coming off the, the, the new era coming off the ground, things like that, and do you plan on pivoting, doing actual stand-up and things like that, going on tour and things like that. So I want to start there before I branch off. Okay. So when I, when I first started, like I said, in 2011, mm -hmm. a friend of mine named Omar Thompson, he's a well-known comedian. Okay. Uh, he was going to skits at the same time with me. He introduced me to comedy. I started doing stand-up in 2011. Mm -hmm. But you know, my passion is being on camera. I would, I would hope to have my own rooms. I was, I was on tour with Capone, opening up for Donnell Rose, Rob Stapleton, you name it. I was on stage with Smokey, everybody. I ran around doing a stand up there, it just wasn't my passion. Do I want to get back into it? Yes. I want to come back correct. I want to be ready. I want it, I want it to be something I want to do. When you're a stand up comedian, that's what you do. That's something you do every night. That's a job. You know what I'm saying? I don't take nothing away from us. A stand up comedian that grabs that microphone and goes up there. And does it? Yeah, sure. The way they do it. 
know, some people, you know what I'm saying, they, they got they got followers and they, they like, oh, it's a bag, and they run up there and they're not funny. Mm-hmm. They might be funny on camera, but yeah. they're not funny on the yeah, stage. Yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. do both, and you, you master both, mm-hmm. that's what, you know what I'm saying, you got it. Yeah. And I don't, I don't play with that, because I was, I was on that stage before people even knew who I was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to master that, so you know what I'm saying, you got to separate that. Comedy is definitely yeah. the hardest shit to do. Nah, no, I act that. Comedy is the hardest shit to do. You got her like, you got to walk into a arena every night and make a motherfucker laugh. Man, they ain't gonna laugh. Sometimes, 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 sometimes 10 people. Right, 10 yeah. people, right. I'd rather make 3,000 people, I'd rather 3,000 out there than 10. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's bad to stand in front of 10 and yeah, sure. two people, one person. Yeah. 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 You want 3,000, you're gonna get 200, it's gonna sound good. Yeah, right, right. You got 10 motherfuckers in front of you and just nobody's just like, just like, waiting for that motherfucker. T.I. wanted 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 People in Kansas don't know what the fuck is funny that if you were a New York comic, you don't know what the fuck going on in Kansas. You gotta go to Kansas and make a motherfucker laugh at some New York shit. Yeah, that shit is hard, bro. That's a, a real I don't play with comics, so I never sit in the front row. Cause I ain't, yo, that shit I'm is back. That's how you think. I promise you, I'm One thing for sure, this is gonna aim on the fire. That's universal. I went to this comedy show back in the day, I'll never forget. The motherfucker say, yo, who in here got T Mobile? I'm like, shit, I'm in the front, I'm drinking, I'm like, shit. <laughs> you that nigga said, shit. that nigga said, hey, he ain't got no credit. <laughs> he <laughs> said, he might get T-Mobile. He's like, oh, I'm all getting cool right there, I got T-Mobile. What was going on here? Mm-hmm. That nigga said, you ain't got no credit, but Rob did. And the shit, you I'm like, oh, this nigga. I said, fuck, I just started laughing with him. Nah, fuck that. He was like, so what? These people don't keep you on, but Rob, you got one penny, they didn't cut your ass off. I feel that you're going to get there, bro. I'm sure you're going to get there. Like I said, this is not even showing up to 
smoke a man's podcast. Like, you got so many people that uh, show up late, this is that. And I respect that, bro. We, we want to see you win. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I believe you're going to win. Everybody know who you are from. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I don't know why niggas are here. Video. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're talking. People should be here. So let me ask you a question. Like, for people out there right now, like, you know a bunch of artists. You're talking to the camera world. The people that's doing videos right now, shit like that, they want to skip. What's your price? Oh, they got they gotta hit the DM. People do that in the street. I, I think that's very unprofessional. Damn, Calvin, I was trying to put my low tax. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's not that's not that have great answers. I got a guy behind you that answers those questions. You know what I'm saying? Never make yourself available, man. Never make yourself too available. Then people try to build a French like, yo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's and, it, it, it's, and it stays like that. And you know, that's the way we work. That's yeah. the way yeah. Absolutely. That's the way we work. Yeah, so you got to have representation behind you. Like, yeah, man. Uh, so, I, I so what's, some of your, what's, some of, what's your next step? Like, what's, 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 something that's, what's something that's coming in the near future that we can look at? Oh, my first, my first, my first feature film. Not my day. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got time to wait, man. Why are you doing it on your own? Yeah, I got, I got, I got somebody, uh, Behind it, like, it's mine. Okay, right, right. It's mine. That's right. It's mine. 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 Even you know on the regular acting side, that's what I do. I don't consider myself an actor. Right. I'm not a comedian. I don't put myself in my main right. right. I people just got their ass first to the whole comedy. The comedy. That's because we got we from a place where we need to laugh. I've never yeah. seen one, two, four of us there is. Wow. I haven't watched that. Yeah. You said it's one, two, four. Yeah, two seasons. One, two, four. Two, four. Right. One, two, four web series. I'm a serious character on it. Nice. Either in the middle of the world character, 2015, 2007. I'm going to go down there. I started it. So you check it out. I'm trying to check it out. You know your money and violence, man. That's how money and violence. You got to post on the joint. Oh, money and violence. What's the other shit? We got it. It was money and violence. The other one that always went neck to neck with money and violence. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We was right under the right under the one that took. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking about the name too. Check it out. Check it out. Money and violence. I'm gonna check it out. I was busting my gun in that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Stuff to refresh your memory. <laughs> 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 
I'm just being awake. Uninspired still. Uninspired. He's gonna wake up, not more. That's motivation. You go listen to your old shit and get back into that zone when you was hungry. Because some people lose the hunger. Yeah. So you listen to your old shit and get back to that. that, that mm. Take you back. That's yeah. it. Like music yeah. do for you now. Like if you hear an old ass song, you be like, ooh, that should take you back to where you heard it the first time. Or, you know. Saying the old song is still good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say an old ass song. How about old songs, nigga? My old nigga. I'm just shit. This new music, music is inspiring. Music inspiring in comedy. Oh, I'm telling you. I listen to some yeah. songs and that's how I get some of my, my, my ideas. This shit make you feel great. Yeah. The right song to change your whole motherfucking mood, bro. The right song, though. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
from where we came from, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, elaborate more on that. Where you from, where you, you know, where you grew up, how was childhood, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, uh, for a lot of people I don't know, I'm from, I'm from Spanish Harlem. My mom's is Puerto Rican, Betsy Gomez, my mom's, you know what I'm saying, my pops, black, West Indian, so I'm mixed. And I grew up right in Spanish Harlem, right there, called the projects. Mm -hmm. Grew up, you know what I'm saying? Came outside, like, 11 years old, we used the tenements first. We moved to the projects. Got three bedrooms because we was living in one bedroom. That's one right. bedroom, my mom's and my pops shared a living room, pull out couch, right. my sister and my brother, the three of us stayed in one yeah. bedroom. Yeah. So we got to motherfucking projects. We thought we were Jefferson. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we got three bedrooms. Like, yeah, me, and my, yeah. me and my brother about to split one, my sister get her own, and my mom and pops got a room. They got their own room. Yeah, yeah, the other yeah. room is another room, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had 12 in the three bedroom. Right, so we yeah, got the, we got the three bedroom. We, lit. we think we go, we got the project, so we see it, we move in daytime, it's nice, it get dark. We go outside, me and my brother get ran back to the building. Niggas run this, <laughs> niggas run this. I, I promise you got 15, 15 floors, 13 buildings. Dang. We're not a tenement no more, we know everybody, we don't know nobody. Mm -hmm. These new niggas, you can't just walk through projects, being young, these bad young niggas outside, hungry. Like, me and my brother walk outside, get chased to the building. Ooh. We just up in the pissy elevator. Mm -hmm. Upstairs, pissy, stink, <laughs> jump. Oh, my pops like, you gotta go back down, and get the oh, back. The yeah, back, yeah, back, yeah, back, yeah, 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 I'm saying that's real. That's real. Now, after fast real story, my mom had did some shit like that too. I went one in ten. Well, we, was, we, we worked it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, had to. You gotta be friends because when you a loser in, in boxing, it just yeah. don't work out. You know what I'm saying? So now you my man. You yeah. know what I, mean? I ain't gonna keep yeah. fighting. Yeah, you can't keep fighting. Yeah. I can see you every day. Every mother got to school across the street. We about to get free lunch all summer. We had, we got to stick together because the other other people about to stop coming through here. And we don't know, so we gotta we gotta be yeah, we gotta be deep. Then they know I got older and. I wanted to try new things. I started, I started wilding. You know, I joined one of the biggest gangs in New York City. I wilded out, in and out of jail. Mm. She was wild. I was wilding. Mm -hmm. So to this day, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, to take it to now present, a lot of people like that, that nigga ain't funny. Like that's not funny. There's people that know me personally. He ain't funny. <laughs> that nigga never smiled. That nigga, that nigga crazy. Like I don't know how to take it and watch him. And he watched us. Like, like, nah, I don't know. I don't know him. Like I don't know what's coming. I know Taheem. <laughs> Oh, that nigga crazy, yo. Yeah. When your pop brought you back down, said, do you remember your record? What? When you had to fight everybody, you remember your record? What you I lost a couple of them joints. I didn't fight. I, didn't, I, didn't, I never, I never got tried. Hot. Like, they, they was getting tired. Like, they was like, ah, oh, you got it. Uh, they caught me first. I caught them back. Beep, beep. <laughs> it was the drawers with the loose. Like, yo, yo, check his head. Right, what's up next? Yeah. Oh, he's hung the break. Oh, yeah. tired. Yeah. Niggas, what's up? Rough. Like, niggas, some of them was like, I didn't fight. It would be cool. Some of them was like, nah. Yeah. My joints was, I'm, I'm not, I think, I, I, I think I you missed, missed. I think you missed, I think you missed, I think we missed the part because one of my counterparts said he was one in ten, yeah, so yeah, nah, I think we I like, like quick, over that quick. shit, quick. he said it quick, so we shot by it, that yeah. he got his ass with nine times, <laughs> 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 so he wanted to know, <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to know if you missed my shit, he wanted to know, you was one in ten, no, 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 that's all right, it's okay, you live, no, but you live. But you live to fight one more. But that's a bad record, man. You, you, that's, you should at least win. Actually, I am now. Four and six. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm just saying, I don't want no problems. I'm just two and nine. You're two and nine. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's good. 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 That's good.
nobody. Playing the elevators, the basement, the more yo, yo, shoot the family like that. That's it over. That's a walk off. Let's walk it off. Let's go over here. Yeah. Give me over here. Come on. Give me the back. Let it down. Come on. Because <laughs> they doing that. What? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I yeah. said, yeah. let it back on that. <laughs> 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 So look, we we in the era of you know a lot of things going viral. You know what I'm saying? You got a bunch of those videos. Do you have any other influencers, uh, comedians, celebrities that you would like to work with, do skits with, um, write for, things like that? Or is there any like like dream matchups you would like to put together? I want to be in that big screen, man. I'm talking about Tom Hanks, Denzel, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking yeah. Ben, like I said, Ben, I, I love the, uh, even the uh, comedian actors, you know what I'm saying? Jim Carrey, you know what I'm saying? Those guys, that's, that's who I came up with. Jamie Foxx, bring Martin back out. I'm, I'm with that, Eddie Murphy, those, those, are, those are my guys. Yeah. Those are the people that made me do it. Right, right. Those are the guys I look at like, yeah, I don't know on the screen or something. I don't really I don't really consider myself a a a, 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 a IG comedian. I know yeah, yeah. Like, yo, the IG dude, I don't I don't, I don't, I don't take nothing away from yeah, what yeah. you label me at. Yeah, yeah. I know what I don't disrespect by it, just No, I, I don't that's what yeah, I said. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying I know I know you know where I wanna be at and then, like why yeah. I feel like my stage is at. You know? Keep thinking that it's gonna happen. You know, Definitely put it out to the atmosphere, it's gonna happen. And make sure when you do happen, you come back and spoke a Mills podcast. Or else you want to see us come to your, your trailer. Fresh out! Fresh out! We had niggas smoke mirrors, nigga! Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Yo, yeah. Tim's definitely some New York shit. I, 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 I want to know, like, what's your focus, man, as far as, uh, when, when you write these skits, like, what do you focus on more? Is it 50-50 acting? And writing the actual skit, or do you put more into writing the skit before you actually got to jump into character? So the visual comes first before you can put the pen down. You, you, like you gotta really see like what you can utilize when you get there. You in this house, right? You gotta come in here first before you even shoot anything. Like you have an idea, you like yo, we gonna we gonna be shooting something. You want to see the place first. You gotta see what you actually about to do. Right. You gotta visualize. So I'm more of a vision. Man. I like the vision shit. Like, once I see what the about is about to take place, then the pen start moving. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really more about the vision. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. I, I always wanted to ask y'all, like, y'all be using some of the. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Yeah, yeah, my bad. My apologies. <laughs> I don't do. I don't do everybody do. It's a fact. It's a fact. Y'all be using it. Well, you. <laughs> you use it. Yeah. Like some of the big, like police stations, churches, things like that. Now, when you go into these things and you actually visualize it first, like. How do you actually get that connect? Because like, who do you speak to? Like, I don't know who speaks to to get a church, bro. Like, God, like, like, like uh, God. God. Yeah. Be out. 
I'll be smoking like fresh out of the car and people be like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm in the couch. I just be me. That's right now. I know. So you know I'm gonna be walking around. I'm gonna be walking around like like this thing. Most of the time it's like that's what they do. There's a lot of fresh out there. It's like ah, yo, do it one more time. One time, one time, I was jumping in the mall. Be fresh out without the do rag, you know. I'm trying to tell like that right now, but yeah, that that character gets you in trouble. You gotta really do it sometimes. Yeah. You don't want to do it. Like I can't do it if I'm not in character. Like, right, right. Like, I don't right. Have to, some people get it like, oh, you right, you right. You know, yeah, like, some people don't understand. That's that like when I'm like, dang it! Ah! Like, yeah, he said that shit too. He, 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 he said that. He said you should hate that. Everybody hated, but that's that's that that character's work is is priceless. Priceless. Right. 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 Beyond. Beyond, yeah. So it's like, you know, I created the motherfuckers, so I hate them, but I created them. Right. You gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with it, so I deal with it. It's cool. You can't you made the characters right yeah. up, so. Yeah, I can't kill her. Definitely can't kill him. No. Oh. He's stuck in the jail, so he don't even want you to lie. You kill him, he's gonna be stale. Right. <laughs> gonna be stale with it. Right. <laughs> you can't do it, what you gonna do? Any last words you wanna say before we... Nah, man, I'm a fan, man. I just want to know, like, I got a nice question. Yeah, I apologize, bro. Nah, I, 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 I heard you speaking about the ass. I got to work I wish I could say that. Yo, now, I heard you speaking about the ass festival with no off camera, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Speak to that experience coming from, you know what I'm saying, an up and coming influencer. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that actually got a bunch of people know that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, have you ever went before you was Mr. Commodore? You know what I'm saying? Also, I can't, you can't use the verses, but speak to that experience, you know what I'm saying, with you being Mr. Commodore now. And I want you to tell us, like, your vision uh, for elevating your brand. How, what is your vision in the next couple of steps to elevate your brand and how you're going to close it out? Um, to make it to the top. Yeah, you make me feel like I already made it to the top. No, I'm talking about yeah. this chapter. This, this chapter? This chapter. Uh, what chapter is this? Well, this is just, we, 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 we still on, we still on the Instagram stuff. So you telling us now, you're not really on the Instagram stuff, you're trying to get exactly. to the movie. Right. So we right. still on like the Instagram comedy, you know, yeah. like that I think, stuff. I think it's more about um, having to sit down with yourself. I've recently grounded myself. Work on one thing at a time. Sometimes you got plenty of ideas, and you're just throwing it out there, you're not taking care of yourself mentally. Right. Um, peace. What I'm saying, you're, just, you're not at peace with yourself. Everywhere, you're giving yourself to everybody. You just, I right, do something, do that, do that, do that, that. You gotta, sometimes you gotta sit your ass down. Mm-hmm. One thing at a time. One thing mm-hmm. at a time. And that's what I'm on right now. One thing at a time. I'm all about discipline. I'm gonna be disciplining myself and set myself down and not getting projects out one day at a time. I'm building a team, putting people around me that really want to focus on me, and focus on themselves, and, and have, uh, uh, have uh, at least some type of belief in, in my future. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people believe in me, but then you know, they believe in thousands of people. Yeah. So now you, you, it's like everybody. You believe in everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I got things I have to tackle. It's all by having a good, strong yeah. structure, sure, sure, team, sure, 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 team, 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 people yeah. behind us. That's what I put in that word. That word just been like, God, you know what I'm saying? Come on! I heard bro talking about that before the cameras came on. And um, not to put your business out there, my boy said he changed his eating habits. Um, as you proceed and touch them in the bottles, things like that. Yeah. It, okay. This is discipline. This, this is first of all, this would have been, been dumb. <laughs> this would have been dumb. This would have been dumb. When we was at kitchen, yo, we go. Oh, no. The liquid diesel? Yo, this is this is pain. I didn't drink oil on the table. No, you definitely not drink oil on the table. I'm not going to say I stopped drinking. I'm not, I'm not drinking at the no, time. No, you just got to do it. It's been, it's been like a week yeah. and a half. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got I to celebrate yeah. when it's time that's to celebrate. That's I can celebrate that's too, that's that's too that's much. That's right, yeah, so you got to you gotta Sometimes you got to yeah, cleanse, you know what I'm saying? I don't mess with the brown. He messes with the brown. I, I drink whiskey. I'm an old nigga. 
I like whiskey. That's Jack Daniels. I used to steal that from my mom. <laughs> I, I used to drink that shit off the table, but it was good. And then yeah. I fill it back up with water, she never knew nothing. That's crazy. She used to be like, yo, how about shit? So, this shit ain't even, it must be stale. Yeah. <laughs> it must be stale. It must be stale. What a real shit, I'm telling you. Now, we want to uh, thank you for coming out on Commodore Road Talk. We wish you nothing but the best. Yes. We see great things happen for you, bro. We're going to follow your career. Everybody going to know follow him online. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to our sponsors, Mr. That's some of the best for yeah. what you You still got some of that whitening? Uh -oh. The, the whitening? Yeah. I, I can eat fish. You eat fish? Fish. We got that shit straight out. We, we fish it off the, off the balcony. That's the fish. Awesome. Right there, right there. Right there. Right there. That's the river. The fish is right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Shout out, man, to everybody, ER, man, the camera, man, everybody in the building, man. Shout out to my man, God, man. We go way back, man. Smoking Man's podcast. We here for a reason, not just a season, Mr. Commodore. Thank you. My boy, Mike Slate. I had a great time, man. It's one of the best interviews I had in a long time. Fresh out, man. Be good.